as home fighter, I can tell you in every battle, is the main priority. It's not the size, it's not the power, the spirit. Spirit and will, will to win. We never seek to leave. It's our homes. We defend our children, family, our buildings, our city, and our future, future of Ukraine. My father told me he was officer in the Air Force. Teach me, teach my brother, and told his big honor for every man to die if you defend your family, you defend your homeland. Before Vitaly Klitschko was the mayor of Kiev, before he was risking his life for his city, his country, and his people, he was another kind of fighter. He was a boxer. Boxers like a gladiator. You have to go inside the ring with just spirit. You have to win or you die. He was 32 and 1 in 2003. When he got the biggest opportunity of his career, a shot at the world heavyweight champion, Lennox Lewis. That's my first time ever seeing two big guys stood up and punch each other and tuck their shots at Klitschko was bleeding, but he didn't want to quit. The cut above Klitschko's eye was gruesome, but he kept coming forward all the same. Ahead of Lewis on all the scorecards, a dream upset in the making. Until the ring doctor stopped it after the sixth round. In this case, even though he lost, he won unmistakable respect. He'd win the world title the next year and dominate the heavyweight division for nearly a decade before retiring in 2013. He was married with three kids and with all the money he'd ever need. But his dream was to become mayor of Kiev, Ukraine's capital city. Everybody understands that one of the largest countries in Europe uh, has to be stable in the uh, political and economy. And stability in uh, Ukraine can bring instability in the whole region. He was a rich, privileged, retired athlete. He doesn't need to be here. I spent a big part of my life in the West, in the United States, in Germany, and I give me a question, why is so simple things work very well in the uh, United States, Germany, it so doesn't work in my home country. And that's why I am decided to change the standards of life in my hometown, in my home country. He was elected mayor in May of 2014, a troubled moment for Ukraine. There had been a revolution a few months earlier, as well as an invasion by Russia that had led to the annexation of the country's Crimea region. Natalia represents a real dude, someone who's gone through serious training in order to achieve what he's achieved. And it is that training that I trust to play when he has a decision to make that's gonna affect millions of people. This February, Tensions continued to escalate, with Russia threatening a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. We have uh, information from special forces. It's possible invasion in Ukraine, but until the last moment, we can't believe it can happen. Tonight, breaking news as we come on the air, Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. We ask, could Kyiv fall in the next 24 hours? Not understand the amount of fear, uh, explosions, and noise which was propelled in the city. It was terrifying. Pretty much right away, the country started to get bombarded. First thing that happened is the airports were bombed. You know, some sort of infrastructure was bombed. Non-stop. Do we have alarm? Non-stop. is spent underground weeks or months. The people live underground in some way. And I visiting many times to tell the people, please don't worry. It's very important.
to give you feeling they is protected. This war doesn't have rules because what we the images what we see is genocide. The experts predicted Kyiv and Ukraine would fall in three days or less. Instead, the fighting spirit of Klitschko's people kept the Russians from taking over the city. We're paying with blood for the security of Europe and the more or less security in the world because if Russia would roll over Ukraine in three days, as they said, they would stop on a European border. But for how long they would stop? So imagine there would be no Ukraine. Who will be fighting them? Nobody wants to die, but if we die, it's a huge privilege to give you life up for your homeland. They're literally encircled by the Russian army. And when he says we're willing to die, you don't doubt him. The war in Ukraine is not anywhere close to over. There's more struggle ahead, more loss ahead, in Kyiv and beyond. But whatever happens, Vitaly Klitschko will be there, at home, with his people. A portrait of courage we should be galvanized by. По-перше, ще до війни Кличко, ще до його мерства, це був, це була гордість країни. Бо як був не тільки героєм, як спортсменом, як героєм, він залишився, по-перше, людиною, і зараз він справжній герой, ну, я вважаю. Endurance is very important in the life, like in boxing. And in this moment, it's very important to show that you have strong will to win. I trust myself. I trust my country. I trust my citizens. And that's why I'm more than sure we win this senseless war. Vitaly Klitschko is in Kiev tonight continuing the fight. It is my privilege to honor him with this Arthur Ashe Award for Courage. He and all the people in Ukraine are in our hearts.